work. Work is an important part of life in Australia. It will give you independence and a sense of purpose. It will also help you meet new people, feel part of the community and pay your bills. There are lots of different job opportunities in Australia. Finding a job All Australians have to compete for jobs. You might not get a job in your field and you might need to study more before you can get your skills recognised in Australia. There are plenty of training opportunities and bridging courses you can do to help you get more qualified for work. These courses usually cost money. Dimpla has been in Australia for 12 years. Time management is quite challenging, especially the time management. How do you manage your work and your study at the same time and then get a decent mark? So my suggestion is that if you're a student, if you're working, you have to prepare to work hard. Many people need to start with casual or shift work before getting a full-time job. This will help you get experience and can be a step towards full-time work. Volunteering is unpaid work. It is a good way to get work experience which can help you get a job in the future. It can also help you make contacts in the community. You can find jobs advertised in newspapers, on the internet or through employment service organisations, and you might also find out about employment opportunities through friends and other community members. You can also look for a job at Centrelink or at a Job Services Australia provider where you can use the job search website. Don't be afraid to ask for help finding a job. It can be challenging for everyone. Job Services Australia Job Services Australia providers can help you find a job or employment and training programs. Your provider may develop an employment pathway plan for you, which could include training, work experience and other help to find a job. It is important you attend everything they organise for you so you don't lose your Centrelink payments. You will be asked questions about your education, work history and ability to work. It is important to be honest about how much education you have completed and what jobs you have had in the past. If you have qualifications, there is a free service which helps you compare your qualifications to Australian qualifications. Ask your provider about this service. Resumes When you apply for a job, you'll need a resume, a document which explains the jobs you have had, the education you have completed and how to contact you. Chintaka works for a Job Services Australia provider. Um, what you basically need when you apply for a job in Australia is you need to have a resume. Most important is the contact details uh, should be in on the resume, uh, along with the education or um, qualifications that you have, um, employment history, then you can put skills, then at the end you can put reference. After you have sent in a job application, you may have to go to a job interview. Attending a job interview. Getting a job is very competitive in Australia and you will need to compete for the job with other candidates. Arrive on time, dress neatly and try to be confident during your interview. When you go to an interview, you will be asked lots of questions. At first it be hard to get a job in Australia, but once you apply for the job, you will be helped to prepare your resume 
because there is a process of applying job in Australia. But once you apply for the job, it's not that you get a job, you have to go through an interview process. Working in Australia. The Australian government sets laws on wages and working conditions and these will vary between jobs. They determine the amount of pay, the hours to be worked and working conditions such as safety, holidays, allowances and training. If you are unsure about your rights at work, talk to your settlement service provider. Robert is a legal aid lawyer. People have a right to be free from discrimination in all areas of life, including in the workplace. So if you're being discriminated against in the community or in the workplace, then you've got rights and you should seek some legal help to get those rights respected. When you start working, you will need to find out when you are expected to work. You need to go to work on time, and if you are sick and can't work, tell your employer. Your employer depends on you just as you depend on your employer for your pay. Most employers will transfer your pay directly into your bank account. An amount of money will be deducted to pay tax to the government and for superannuation, which is savings for when you retire from work. <laughs> 